Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Guys of Magic. This is Hunter, David, Shane, and Steven. Say what up, boys. What's going on? Hello. What up, nerds? We are back, this time doing the bigger, the badder upgrade pre-con battle. That's right. This is the $300 pre-con battle to Fallout pre-con decks. If you guys haven't already seen those decks and why we built them the way we did, check the links in the description down below where you can see all of our $300 upgrades. So we are much spicier this time. So let's go around the table, talk about our face commanders that kind of what our decks want to do, starting with you, David. I am playing Dr. Madison Lee, the uh, $300 version. We're going to be playing with artifacts, hopefully making a bunch of energy, doing more energy than what our $100 did. And then, uh, I don't know, just like using her as a Swiss Army knife, we're going to be able to just use her for general utility. I'm going to be still playing with dog meat, ever loyal. The strategy here is to grab things out of the graveyard and then basically just get uh, Mantle of the Ancients and win if you haven't seen the first game. Like, that's my that's my game plan. <laughs> wow, that's quite the game plan. Uh I am Caesar, Legion's Emperor. We're just trying to go wide and drain our opponents with all of our awesome little token creatures. So the name of the strategy is delete our opponents to zero. Yeah, and I'm playing the Wise Mothman. My goal is to basically mill my opponents out so they can't play the cool things that they want to play, uh, which generally leads to me not having a commander. That's fair. But we are shuffled up. We're ready to play. Before we start the video, I just want to remind everybody to like this video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you're not missing out on any of our content we're putting out all the time. But we've got our turn order. We are shuffled up. David, kick us off. Draw a card. You guys ready for a turn one, Sol Ring? Yes, yes, yes. All right, cool, because it's not coming from me. I'm going to play mm. a Temple of Epiphany. It's going to come in tapped. I hate these lands, but I'm going to scry. We're going to say that's good enough to stay on the top, but I'm not excited about it. And uh, that's my turn. <laughs> that was a solid turn, man. Good turn. Our turn. Rock for turn. Play a mountain for turn. No cool cards to play after that. I'm gonna pass. All right. I will go ahead and kick my turn off by drawing a card. I will play a planes. I will tap said planes and play a soul ring. Oh, there it was, David. Somebody had it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's my turn, though. Heard. I will draw my card for turn. I am gonna go ahead and play a tainted isles land for turn, and then I will tap it for a colorless. And I'm going to play Altar of the Brood. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you don't know what it does, whenever another permanent enters the battlefield under my control, each opponent puts the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Love it. Really good turn one. And I'll mm. pass. All right. Let's kick my second turn off. Oh, I forgot that I already knew that what that card was. That's disappointing. So I'm going to play an Irrigated Farmland. It's going to enter the battlefield tapped. And then I'm going to tap Temple of Epiphany. And I'm going to play a Soul Ring. Wow. You're telling me you just drew that. No, actually, I did have it in my hand on turn what? one, but my land entered tapped. <laughs> you kept the one land in. No, the mana base of this deck is garbage, so we just keep tap lands. And uh, I'm going to pass my turn. This is where I draw my soul ring, boys. Start turn. Didn't draw the soul ring. Okay. I'll play this filter land, and I'm going to tap for two, a red and one, and I'm going to play Lizard Blades. Kill it. You know what that card does, right? Kill it. That's my turn. Go ahead, Hunter. All right. I will untap draw. I will play a swamp for turn. We're going to go ahead and tap four. On turn two. Yeah. Yep. Keeper the accord. Not that and card again. I'm going to pass. All right. Untap up, keep draw. Terramorphic Expanse. Ooh, that's gonna oh, this is going to hurt us. So everyone's going to mill one. Start with David. I milled over. Oh, that sucks. That's a Mystic Forge. Hmm. Uh, Wow. Flawless Maneuver in my graveyard. Oh, I got a Intangible Virtue in the Rib. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and back Terramorphic Expanse. I'm going to go search for a basic. You're going to mill again. Yes. Yes, you will. Cool. I'm going to grab a Swamp. Close and shuffle. That's going to come in. Tap. Uh, ETB, everybody mill one. I'm going to mill an Island. <sighs> I'm going to mill a Rancor, dang it. I'm going to mill a Gary clone. All right. I'm going to tap the Tainted Isle now for one blue. And I'm going to play a, a Ruin Crap. Oh my god. <laughs> so if everybody can mill one more. Yeah, Dave. I will mill. Oh, there's a uh, mechan or mechanized production. There goes my wind gun. There goes my forest. <laughs> there goes another planes. All right. Hey, guys. That's my turn. All right. Let's kick my turn off. Turn three. Here we go. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play a planes as my land for the turn. Uh, what do we want to do? Cast your commander. Look. I know that that is like probably the ideal thing, but normally whenever I do that, she dies. So we're going to tap for three. We're going to cast her. We're going to temporarily have a blocker around, I guess. I like it. Um, I'm going to tap Soul Ring for two. 
And I will cast an Everflowing Chalice, sinking uh, the two mana into that so that it comes in with one counter. Upon casting an artifact, Dr. Madison Lee is going to trigger, and I'm going to make one energy. Ooh, I can't wait to see what this one looks like. So now that I have my beautiful energy token in play, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass my turn. On your end step, Dave. Yeah. Uh, Keeper of the Chords says, you have more lands than me. So I'm going to go get a planes, put it on the battlefield. Third turn, untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to play another filter land for my turn. Oh, double gonna... filters, huh? Yeah, these are not good. Not good right now. Do you need something that's not a filter? All right, so I'm going to have to tap for three here, weirdly. So I'm going to tap one for two, and then one of the floating here is going to go into this next one. I'll say that the I'll say that the red one is going to go in there, so I still have the white. Basically, I'm going to have one of each color. I'm not going for dog meat. I just need to have all the colors. So for the white and, and red, uh, I'm going to cast all the glitters, and I'm going to target lizard blades. Yeah, that's getting cool. big. Okay, just making sure. And then for... The green that I have still floating, I'm going to cast a wild growth, and I'm going to target my mountain. So now it taps for an additional green when it taps. I'm going to move into combat. I don't think Steven's going to block with that guy, right? I don't think nope. so. So I'm going to swing Blizzard Blades at Steven. It is a 4-4 four, four double striker. Yeah, I'll take it. Going 32. That was a good attack, guys. It's going to be a quick game. That was. A I'm good going to attack. get hurt for that one, but I'm going to pass. Yo, that was crazy. Uh, I'm going to untap, upkeep draw. I'll tell you what, boys. We You're hurting for a mountain. Are hurting for a mountain. <laughs> I, I know the pain, dude. I know the pain. Try for two white and play a Securitron Squadron. And then we're gonna pay the squad cost of three, so two and one more. We're gonna make a token of him. And he says, whenever another token enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus counter on it. So hit the token he just made, gets a counter. We're gonna go to combat and we're gonna swing three at Shane. No blocks. I take three, going to thirty seven. And I will pass my turn. That's on tap upkeep to... and drop. We're about to mill so many cards. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tap Painted Isle for blue. Let's play a Hedron Crab. Oh my <laughs> god. god. <laughs> What's wrong, guys? I don't uh, know. This is fun. All right, okay. well, that's a permanent enters. David, you go. All right, so Alter the Brood Triggers. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mill. I'm going to mill a, a Trinket Mage. I'm going to mill Breakdown an instant. And I'm going to mill... Uh, land that tapped for red, so that's cool. <laughs> All right, uh, let's play an evolving wilds. Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> Stack so which, which triggers you? Let's 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 do the triggers in a certain order. Let's go ahead and alter the brood trigger first. All right, so I will mill one. That's uh, sky cloud expanse. There goes silver shroud costume. There goes my war leader's call. You couldn't have cast it anyways, Hunter. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and trigger ruin crab now. All right, that's three, correct? That's Each three. opponent mills three. All right, so I'm going to mill a Sentinel Sarah Lions, a Synth Eradicator, and a Panharmonicon. There goes my Shadow Spear, there goes the land, and there goes a Rogue's Passage. I need that, come on. Uh, there goes a Paladin Elizabeth Taggarty, Fervent Charge, and a Lethal Scheme. And the Hedron Crab. Who are you targeting? Uh, <clears throat> Shane. Oh, How many so do I do this you. time? Three. I'll mill another three. There goes my Ancestral Mask, my Sword of Feast and Famine, and Single Combat. I'm not going to stop until I hit that goddamn Mantle of the Ancients. What if it's in his hand already? Or, or he I can bring it top decks it. <laughs> yeah, luckily I can bring it back with Doggo Mido. It's true, he can. All right. Let's go ahead and tap and sack Terramorphic Expanse. Dude. Uh, we'll I'm get sure. a basic force. It'll come in. It's like I'm going to get targeted again. It'll come in tapped. All right. uh, let's do the same order. Alter the Brute first. Uh, Arcane Signet. Land. Land. Uh, let's uh, go ahead three. and do Ruin Crab. Glimmer of Genius, Island, and Plains. Land, Hollowed, Haunting, and Well Rested. We got Captain of the Watch, a Land, and Commissar Severina Rain. All right, and then we'll do Hedron Crab. I'll trigger this on David this time. Oh. Uh, milling a Temple of Enlightenment, a Spire of Industry, and a Fierce Guardianship. Bye bye, Fierce. Uh, that is all I can do with the current mana I have. <laughs> That's it. Uh, I will pass the turn to David. Sounds good. <laughs> all right, start my turn. So I played a Plains as my land for the turn. Uh huh. And this is the part where my deck like really does its thing. Let's do it. I'm going to pass. Yes. On your end step, Dave, <laughs> Keeper of the Chord says, hey, you've got more lands than me. So I'm going to get a Plains. Why don't you go get a, uh, a mountain, Hunter? You know, I wish I really could. <laughs> hey, he's deck thinning at least. That's good, right? All right, I'll start my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to tap my mountain, which is giving me red and a green, and then I'm going to use the red into the filter 
this one to give me a red and a white. And I have green, red, white. And I'm going to pay for Dago Mito. I'm going to respond to you That's... casting Dago Mito. Okay. I'm going to tap one, two, three, and I will flash in a Liberator Urza's mm. Battle Thunder, which will make an energy. Look at that. Right. And then now Hang on, Dog Meat enters. And I'm going to mill five more. Uh, Abundant Growth, Command Tower, Ian the Reckless Soul Ring, and a Scavenger Grounds. I'm going to return Sword of Peace and Famine to my hand. I'm going to move into combat, and I'm going to swing Blizzard Blades at you, David. It's a 4 Every 4 spot. double strike. Oh, yep. Ooh. I am going to tap four. One, two. Oh, come on. Tap that. One, two, three, four. And I will flash in a Solemn Simulacra. Mm. That will give me an energy. This does have its ETB. We'll go search my library for a basic land card. Okay. And then I will also declare Solemn Simulacrum as my blocker so that it that dies. That is a good blocker. And then I will draw a card. That is a good blocker, bud. So I'm going to go grab a mountain just to rub that in Hunter's face. <laughs> Appreciate it. When my Lizard Blade attacked Dog Meat's second ability triggers, I'm going to get a junk token. Sounds good. And then I will draw for the Solemn. Cool. That is going to do it for me then. Pass to you, Hunter. Okay. I will... Untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, we're going to tap for one, two, three, four for Anointed Procession. Good card, good. Good card is good, except. Except good he card. doesn't have any red. Good card, don't do nothing. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and go to combat. We're going to swing a 3 4 over at you, Shane, and a 3 3. That's six. That's six. I'm down to 31. That is going to be the end of my turn. All right. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Oh, God, here we go. Can't wait to see all my red lands go away. Chill, dude. Chill. Here's a myriad landscape. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play a nesting yes. grounds. Triggers. Trigger. Triggers. Alter, ruin, hedron. All, all right. right. Alter, you got a thirst for knowledge from me. You got a land from me. Yeah. <laughs> There's, There's, There's my mind. There's my mind. Number one, you got an either sworn cannonist, a robo brain war mind, and a razor tide bridge. You got a. Gunner Conscript, a creature. You got Masterwork of Ingenuity. And you got a Chroma's Will. You got a Swamp. You got a Nympical. And you got a Desdemona, I guess. All right. And let's just be fair. Hunter, Hedron Crab. Cool, man. Long uh, we got Illicit Lacor, uh, Diamond City, and a Dolmen Gate. All right. <laughs> let's go ahead and tap one, two, three. And four, one of those being green, I'm going to go ahead and play a World Shaper. Ooh, that's a good card. Whenever another... this attacks, I may put the top three cards of my library into the graveyard, and then when it dies, put all land cards from your graveyard onto the battlefield tapped. That's going to suck with those creatures. I'll throw the brood. I will mill a mountain for a hunter. I'll mill Magton's Fate. Heck, Megaton's Fate. There goes Iroas. <laughs> all right. I will pass the turn. All right. Start my turn draw my card for said turn. I'm going to tap one, two, three, and four, and I'm going to cast Vault 112 Sadistic Simulation. That's Ooh. awful. We're going to go on a magical little journey, and I'm forcing you to come with me. On its first mode, it says tap up to one target creature, put a stun counter on it, and I get two energy. Shane, I'm going to tap your lizard blades, please. Is it energy is tapped. You want to keep it tapped? Yep, it's going to get a, a stun counter, and then I'm going to get the two energy from that. I'm also going to put another counter on the Liberator, since that costs more than Liberator's power. I'm actually going to pass my turn at that. Our turn, untap, upkeep, draw. This this has the stun counter on it, David, so it'll stay tapped. Yeah, David, on your end step, by the way, I'm going to go get another planes and not a mountain. That sucks. I'm going to crack my junk. See what I get. <laughs> Why is that so <laughs> funny, dude? I don't know. Let's exile. Oh, cool. What is it? The Blasphemous Act. I'm going to tap for my uh, mountain that has all the growth on it, so I get a red and a green. Use the green to tap this filter lands, and I have three, a red, red, and a white. I just need the white. I'm going to cast pre-war formal wear. It is an equipment that says when it enters the battlefield, return or a creature card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to this pre-war uh, formal wear. And then equip the creature gets plus two, plus two, and has vigilance. So I'm going to go in my graveyard. I'm going to grab Ian the Reckless. Ian. I'm gonna put, yeah, I'm gonna put pre-war formal wear on him. He sounds reckless. Cool. He's pretty reckless, dude. That was a pretty reckless play, dude. Yeah, it's a bummer that he doesn't have haste for being reckless, but uh, here we are. Hunter, that's my turn, bud, since I can't do anything. Oh, cool. I'm just gonna pass. Can we find the mountain? Untap up your draw. Let me just say that this is disappointing. We're gonna tap two for a talisman of hierarchy. Taps for a, 
Oh, white and a black. <laughs> <laughs> That's I love cool. this game. I love you guys. I love you too, too Steven. Man. We're going to tap for... We're going to hurt myself. A black here and a black here. So I'm going to take one damage. Ow. Going down the first time he's been hit. I take two more, and then I will cast a Wasteland Raider. It's a 4-3. And it's got a squad cost of two. So I will pay the extra two for a squad cost. Makes a copy of him. An order procession says, that's another token. Makes another copy of him. Uh-oh. So the fun thing about these guys is it says, when it enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature. Mm. Each player? Including yourself? Including myself. Oh, so you're literally just going <laughs> to... Wait, just wait, gonna... wait. So that's happening three times? It's happening three times. <laughs> um, I'm going to respond. I am going to pay one to three and I'm going to flash in Nick Valentine private eye this is an artifact so I will make an energy um, and he's got a fun little ability that says whenever him or another artifact creature I control dies I investigate Hunter I am literally pissed dude um, that was my response I'm going to pass priority back over to you yes yeah, so they all come in at the exact same time so so we're all sacking three creatures everybody yeah, sacks three Hunter initiates he starts so I got rid of the two originals and I got rid of one more mm. I will keep her the accord, dude. Come on, man. You don't need yeah. any more planes. <laughs> Could use more planes. All right. So I sacrificed my three creatures. Uh, World Shaper does have a trigger. When it dies, put all land cards from the graveyard onto the battlefield tapped. So that'll be a Terramorphic Expanse and Evolving Wilds. Uh, that will trigger Altar of the Brood twice. Okay. So you have milled an Electro Siphon and an Enthusiastic mer uh, Mechanaut from me. You got Mr. Gutsy and... Ooh. Damn, dude. Damn. You got an oh, exotic sorry. orchard and a talisman of indulgence. Dude, all of my red <laughs> sources are just in the graveyard. Oh, man, I'm sorry, dude. Um, Dr. Madison Lee, Liberator, and Nick Valentine will die. I will have this triggered so that the Liberator will die first so that Nick can get me two clues. You don't want to use any energy before he dies? Nah. Dude, he only and cares about his... All my stuff's gone. He cares about that journey he's about to be on. All right, we'll go to combat, and we will swing three at Dave. Uh, I have no blocks, so I will take three, going to 37. And that's going to do it for me. Erg. Untap upkeep draw. Let's go ahead and play an island for turn. So I'm going to bail out that steel overseer. Goodbye. Yeah, I got rid of uh, the real armor. Uh, I mill <clears throat> sacred foundry. Like a red. <laughs> I think you're killing Steven right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. I don't want to do that to you. Go ahead and just sack both those. Come on, we know you want to. I'm going to sack Evolving Wilds and Terramorphic Expanse. I'm going to go search for two basics. Trigger, trigger. Trigger, trigger, trigger. trigger. All right, so for these two lands coming in, oh, that's a Path to Exile. That's unfortunate. And an Intelligence Bobblehead. Not very smart. Foot, foot boots. Halls of Heliod's generosity. Here goes more red sources. We got uh, Arcane Signet and <laughs> Smoldering Marsh. Literally all your reds, dude. <laughs> dude. Dude. You, just do me a... I just want you to open up your library to see if you have more red permanents. Don't, don't do that. They're do. all on time. I know. Yeah. Uh, and I will go ahead and use this island and one and two. And I will play a Unstable Harmonics, uh, also known so as Rhystic study. study. I was going to say, yep. what? Well, nice Trigger. Rhystic Study you have there. I'm going to go ahead and mill a card for it. I'm going to mill a Foundry Inspector. And I'm going to mill a Robe of Stars. You already, know what's, you already know what's coming here, dude. No. Uh, you got rid of Vats. <laughs> and that will be it for turn. Hey, oh, on your right. end step, you have more lands than me. So I'm going to go get... You're going to fail to find soon, Another dude. Planes. I fail to find. I, apparently, I'm out of Planes. That's cool. Love it. Alrighty. I'm going to start my turn. We're going to untap upkeep draw. Um, I'm going to have a vault 112 kick to its second uh, lore counter. And on the second lore counter, Hunter, can you do me a favor? One of your four or three tokens, we're going to tap it and stun it. He's stunned. And then I'm going to make two energy. Let's do a blue, a white, a red, and two more for the commander attacks. And I'm going to attempt to cast... Dr. Madison Lee. <clears throat> David. Yes. Ristic. Oh, you have a Ristic study. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot. No, nah, dude, it's yours. All right. Draw card. Very cool. I, I don't, I, I can't. I can't afford to pay for it. I'm also, I'm going to pay for three. So that's one. A red and one more. And I've heard this creature is pretty good. We're going to cast a Dockside Extortionist. Ooh, creature's okay. Pretty, creature's pretty good. You got three from me. Two. 
I got two. So that's seven. I got David, like seven treasures. on the cast, though. I did pay three. Okay. <laughs> he got you. And now... We're going to do absolutely nothing. We're going to sit back and we're just going to pass turn. Very I hope cool. I draw a land here, dude. Feel like your pain, Hunter. Our turn. Do you feel my pain? Draw. Yeah, dude. Because I haven't dropped a land since turn three. At least you have your colors. Doesn't matter. I can't play anything. And two I of my filters. I know how I felt on the 100, dude. With here. four lands after that ruinous. That was, that was the nastiest thing you've done to me ever, Hunter. Well, I did get a land. I'm going to play a plans return. I'm going to pay... I'm going to tap my mountain, which is going to give me a red and a green. I'm going to use the green into this uh, land. <laughs> Filter. Filter land. Yep, thank you. So I get a red and a white. And I'm going to tap this one for a white. So I'm going to use two of the whites. I have one mana floating after that. You have no, two mana floating. Two mana floating after that. Jesus Christ. I'm using two white, and I'm going to cast Pure Steel Paladin. And I have two mana floating. I'll use one of the red, tap this, for another red and a green. So now I have three. You red and a green, and I will cast Sword of Light and Shadow. Your still paladin will trigger. I will draw a card. We hit Ristic Study. Oh, oh yeah, even, I'm sorry. Yeah. Did you? So two Steven. triggers there. Um, yeah, Steven, Sorry, I, I'm not paying for either of them. And uh, that's that'll be all she wrote for my turn. All righty then. I will untap, upkeep, draw. This does stay tapped. I did not draw red. We'll tap for five. We will play a Rabble Rousing. He's got hideaway five, so we're gonna look at the top five. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna hide one of these underneath, and then we'll go to combat. Did you want to pay one for the rabble rousing hunter? I apologize, I missed that trigger. Yeah. Okay. And on top of that, I'm gonna swing two creatures at you for seven mana. Or seven, seven mana? I get seven, seven mana. You're I'm gonna swing seven mana. Swing two creatures for seven damage. I will take the seven and go to twenty-five. Rabble rousing will trigger on the attack. Uh, so when one or more creatures attack, I make that many one ones. Do so you get four? I do. I get four because of a noted procession. A lot of tokens on the battlefield. That is a lot. Uh, that is going to be the end of my turn. Cool. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. What do we do here? Man. I could play the Mothman. I think I have a funner thing to do. So let's go ahead and play a forest. Alter the brute trigger. I will mill an Ethereum Sculptor. There goes my Jetmere's Garden. It's getting comical at this point. There goes a Tainted Peak. Dude. <laughs> Dude. It's been comical for a while. <laughs> Let's tap for seven and overload a Cyclonic Rift. Brother. Shitting me, dude. I will respond. Uh, let's do this. I will spend two of these treasures. One, two, and I will crack a glue to draw a card. And then let's spend another two. One, two, and crack a glue to draw a card. That's all I got. Cool. That's unfortunate. It's all back to our hands. Except for fine. all of these tokens. Gone. And the card that I exiled... Stays exiled. Guess what? Did you ever play it again? It was a command tower. Oh. God. Oh my god. I was really hoping to get red. Uh, and I have one mana left over, and I can't do anything with it. So I will pass the turn to you, David. Cool. I will start my turn. I will say I feel very smart for it because I was like, do I do it on David's turn or on Hunter's? And I was like, well, David's gonna go next, and if he plays Dockside again, he won't get the value. That is true. Uh, let's do this. I'm gonna tap for a blue, a white, and a red, and I will cast Dr. Madison Lee. Would you like to pay one? Now nah, you can have at it. I will uh, pay one, and I will play a soul ring, which will give me an energy. Have okay. at it, Steven. Okay. I'm going to tap for three, and I'm going to cast a Paladin Dance, which will make an energy. Cast I will draw. One. And then I'm going to go to my end step. Upon my end step, I will discard Spirit of a Path of Ancestry. It's on you, Shane. Our turn. On tap up, keep draw. I will play a land for turn. Tap for a green. Play wild growth again, attaching it to this uh, filter land. Okay. Would you like to pay one? Would not. Wait. Your your mana base is math, dude. I know. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to figure out if I can think I can. No, because I'm, I'm just gonna try to use all my mana. So I might end up with mana left over at the end, and that's gonna suck. But I'm not. I'm not gonna pay for it, Steven. All right. I will draw. Uh, I'm gonna tap for a no a red for this filter land. Like so I get three colors. Red, white, green, and then I'm gonna tap for another white. I have four right now. I'm gonna use two of the white as pure steel. Pain one. I, I will not pay the one. And now I have hmm. red and a green. I and love the mental math in your head of figuring out how your mana taps is amazing. It's super annoying, brother. Red and a green. We'll just do the red. Let's we'll do one. There's other filter land. It, none of the colors matter now. I just have three. I'm gonna play the sword again, sword of light and shadow. Here's the draw. More trigger. Uh, no, yeah, nothing from you, Stephen. You, you can draw. And then I'll draw off a of pure still. I have seven cards in my hand, and I will pass. 
All right, all on time upkeep draw. We got a swamp. <laughs> it's good. You got to land. Pay one for a soul ring. Pay one. Sure. Pay two for a talisman. Pay one. Yes. And then we will pay one, two, three, and four for land order procession again. I will draw. Yeah, don't have the mana that anymore. That one is going to be the end of my turn. Cool. I will dr untap upkeep draw with 12 cards in hand. <laughs> Lay an island to alter the brood. I will mill a Brotherhood Vertibird. I will mill Spectator Seating. I'm not going to thank you. I will mill a Farewell. Ooh. <laughs> that feels so good to see. Bye-bye. not mad, dude. Oh, God. That is beautiful. That's really unfortunate. I probably would have just been like, yeah, I scoop. So yeah. one, two, and let's go a black for a Riddle Keeper. So whenever a creature that. attacks me or a Planeswalker control that controller puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. Upon casting and that entering, all through the brood. Uh, Goblin Walder for me. Ass Hand of Vengeance for me. Another red source. Another Another red source? Red source? <laughs> <laughs> it's my tri it's my tri land. Yeah. You're done, dude. You're done, brother. Holy shit, dude. All right, let's go a green and one. Let's go and play Rampant Growth. I'm going to go search my library for a basic land card, put that card on the battlefield tap, then shuffle. Yo, find a mountain. I can't. It'd be cool, though. <laughs> it would be cool. I'm going to go grab an island. This will enter the battlefield tapped, alter the brood trigger. If it, go ahead, oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to mill a Wayfarer's Bobble. Oh, Eldrazi Conscription in the graveyard. Hey, not a red source, but still a land. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass there. Cool. Let's start my turn. And tap upkeep and draw. I'm going to play a Glacial Fortress as my land for the turn. Um, I'm going to tap Dr. Madison Lee, spending five energy to return a target artifact card from my graveyard back to the battlefield. Tapped. So I'm going to grab a Panharmonicon. Ooh. What's that do? Two uh, if, 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 if an artifact or a creature entering the battlefield would cause a triggered ability, it triggers an additional ability. Additional time. I'm going to tap for two, and I'm going to cast Do Dockside Extortionist. Oh. Still right. two from me. It's three from, two from me. me as well. Let's Sorry, one, uh, two, would you like three. to pay one for that? Yeah, I, I will. I'll pay one more. Okay. He's about um, so, so Shane, changes. I get how much from you? Two. All right, two from you, three from Hunter, two from... So two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to make 14 treasures. Yeah. You got a combo in there? He does. I know, I know say. He does. I'm going to tap for seven. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for two treasures. And I'm going to cast a Wake the Past. Uh, it's oh, a sorcery. Be... It says, oh, and we'll do this. I'll spend one more for your Rhystic study. Uh, it's a sorcery. It says, return all artifact cards from my graveyard to the battlefield. They gain haste. <laughs> yep. I, mean, I, I don't have anything for that. I have uh, nothing for that. Dude, it's like you right. played a it's like you played a Mantle of the Ancients, David. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put my commander off to the side. These things So we just had a ton of things. Let's go ahead and look at this. This is insanity. So I get this little red dude, he comes in, he's it doesn't matter all my things I've faced. I got Steel Overseer, I got Nick, I got Liberator, I got Enthusiast Mechanaut, uh, I got Robo Brain, I got an Ether Sworn Cannonist, I got a Solemn Simulacrum that we're gonna have to put down here. Um, I got a Mystic Forge, so that's going to be fun. I got this vehicle. I got a Wayfarer's Bobble, so we're going to put this one down here next to the Panharmonicon. I got this Ethereum Sculptor. I got a Foundry Inspector. I got an Intelligence Bobblehead, so we'll put that down there as well. I got a Land, and I got an Arcane Signet. I feel like I'm watching a deck tech. <laughs> we got a lot of eggs. Okay, do I have any ETBs here? Uh, the Solemn Simulacrum has an ETB, so this is going to trigger... Panharmonicon will actually trigger it twice. Mm -hmm. I think that's my only ETB. Should, should only ETB. <laughs> so I'm going to draw two cards. I'm going to do this. I'm going to tap down my Either Sworn Cannonist. My Either Sworn Cannonist will crew the Brotherhood Vertibird. So we're going to move this one off to the side. So this one's going to be a creature now. I'm then going to tap down my Steel Overseer to put a plus one, plus one counter on each artifact creature I control. Oh my god. Also, I missed an ETB, Robo Brain. All right, Rainbow Brain should have triggered also to making an energy counter for each artifact creature I control. Uh, Panarmonicon is going to double that, so I'm going to go up to 27 energy. That's a lot of energy. Okay. That's crazy. All right, now I'm going to go to combat. I am going to declare some attackers. Um, Hunter's not in this game. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> not red, dude. Let's let's do this. I will swing the Foundry Inspector, the Ethereum Sculptor. The Solemn Simulacrum, the Paladin. We're also going to swing the Robo Brain, 
those are all going to go to Shane. The I did. Vertibird is going to go to Steven. Let's do this. Nick, Liberator, and in the Mechanaut will go at Hunter. And then you know what? The Eradicator is also going to go at Shane. <laughs> Can I get damage? Uh, 26 damage. The Robo Brain, by the way, is a 9 5. So he probably is your priority for blocks. I'm not going to block. Whoa. That's terrifying. So really quickly, before blockers are declared, David, you did swing the big thing at me. So you do have to mill the top two cards of your library. I will mill. I'm going to mill a Joyrus Familiar and a Planes. Okay. How much is coming to me, too, by the way? Just eight. Oh, I can't block eight. Steven, coming at you, <laughs> I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. In the air? In the air. It's a lot. Well, let's tap for a black, a green, and then one, and I would like to putrefy it. <laughs> In response to the putrefy, I will sack the paladin, and artifact creatures I control gain indestructible to end of turn. Artifacts, creatures, and humans I control gain indestructible. Wait, this is all happening at once. Does that mean I take less damage now? Yeah, yeah you're going to take four less damage. Cool. Okay. So then I die? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, his power went down. I'm not going to block either, David, and I'm going to be down to nine. I can't block anything, so I'm down to 31. David, is that, your, is that all that you can do that turn? Yeah, that that's all that I can do. So I'm going to go to end my turn, and then my Brotherhood Vertibird is not going to be a creature anymore. He's just going to go back to being an artifact, a vehicle. I'm very dead. And then I guess I don't know if Hunter or I will ever cast our commanders this game. Um, I'm also going to discard a card due to hand size. I'm going to discard an Everflowing Chalice. Uh, I don't need that. Hunter, you really need that red source, my guy. <laughs> I really do. All right. I'll start my turn. I'm going to play my Temple of the False Gods. Wow. Oh, my God. oh you kept guys, your 300? Guys, He's it's going it. to help. It's going to help for the filters, dude. This is going to be amazing. I don't have to worry about math anymore. I'm going to tap Temple of the False God for two. And one of those, I'm going to pay into this filter. I get a red and a green. And we'll do this green for the third. I'm still going to float the one from Temple still. I'm going to cast Lord of Peace and Famine. Here still triggers, and I draw a card. If I have one floating from Temple. I'm going to use that one floating into my other filter. So now I have red, green, white. Three, four, second white, and five. And I'm going to attempt to cast Mantle of the Ancients. I knew he had it, dude. Oh, 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 oh. And I'm going to attempt to put it on Pure Still. Okay, in response to you... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in response to you casting, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to pay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm going to overload Cyclonic Rift. So I have no response to that, Hunter. Do you have any response to that? Nope. <laughs> Tap that. Cool. Uh, yep, that's real cool. You had it, Hunter, so I passed to you. Uh, you let's go ahead. Untap draw. Oh, I have to discard here's a shit the, ton. Here's the board wipe. <laughs> <laughs> he has to have it. He would have just... Yeah, He's been three, too four, quiet. Five, six. He doesn't have Farewell, though. Tap for one for my soul ring. Artifact first. Good job, dude. Thanks. We are going to tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Marshall Coup. What'd that do? I'm going to make Sounds X like a board wipe. one, one white soldier creature tokens. If X is five or more, which it is. It's five exactly. Destroy all the other creatures. Ooh. <laughs> all right. Man, Man if, only, if only you had something that you could stack to make indestructible, David. Yeah, so it doesn't. Well, here's the fun little thing. I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten clues wait what yeah whenever an artifact creature i control dies I'm yeah but can't clue. you just make everything indestructible no he sat he no, sacked it's, it's the dead. one oh, thing to kill me oh i thought it was a return got it so i'm gonna make 10 clues that's gonna be the end of my turn dave you're up all right let's start my turn i'm to have i'll keep draw. uh we are going to play one yeah, creature the... crew and kill someone yeah we're gonna play a helios one for my land for the turn well uh, that's me that's not someone <laughs> I'm going to look and at the top nine. card of my library. We'll pay one, two. I'll cast the top card of my library. Whenever it enters the battlefield, I get two energy. Go to two energy. You appear dead, Shane. Thanks. <laughs> You're going to be dead next. Uh, I'm going to tap Mystic Forge, and I'm going to exile out that Silver Bluff Bridge. Look at the top card of my library. That's fucking hilarious. Is it a red source? A red, a blue, and two. And I will cast a Joyra. Let's do card. a blue, a blue... One, two, three. I will cast a Synth Infiltrator. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, I may have it become a copy of another target creature on the battlefield, except for it is the Synth. Um, you draw a card for Joy or for casting it, yeah? Yeah. 
I'm gonna say that my target's gonna be the Assaultron Decimator or Dominator. So I'm gonna draw a card. That's gonna be a copy of this. Enter. So I'm gonna get two more energy from this, and then Panharmonicon will say it'll get two more energy as well. Okay, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna tap the Assault Dominator to crew the Brotherhood. I'm gonna go to combat. This is the only thing that I can swing. So Brotherhood is going to go at Shane. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I'm very dead there, buddy. Blech. So I'm gonna pay two energy uh, to give the Brotherhood Vertibird. I'm just gonna say two plus one plus one counters. Uh, one from each of my Assaultrons. We're gonna do this just to take Hunter off a little bit more. I'm gonna pay uh, one, two, three, and I will tap Helios one. I will spend one energy, and Hunter, I'll blow up your Silt Ring. That's all right. Yep. Um, that's gonna be my turn. Cool. I'm gonna untap draw. Well, Dave, take five. Yeah, no blocks. Boom. Five damage. That's my turn. Cool. My turn. I'm going to do the untap upkeep draw thingy. Um, I'm going to just go to crew, the Brotherhood, Vertibird, going to go to combat, swing the, the Vertibird at you. And for shits and giggles, I'm going to give it trample and a plus one, plus one counter. In response, I know what's happening here. I'll tap for five in play in ink, ink Shield. I saw that one coming from a mile away, Ooh. dude. <laughs> Lots of fun. In response, mm -hmm. I'm going to tap my soul ring. I'll crack a glow. I'll draw a card. I'm going to look the, also at the top card of my library with my Mystic Forge, too. Let's see if that helps me out. Let's do this. I'm going to tap down my Mystic Forge. I'm going to exile out the top card of my library. We're going to continue to dig, and we're going to hope that we can get something good here. Look at the top card of my library. That's not going to help me, but we need to dig through it anyways. I mean, each clue you crack makes it smaller. It's true. Ah, uh, that's That is true. Uh, we'll pay one and two to crack a clue. Draw a card. Let's actually look at the top card of the library first. Ooh, that's fucking good. Uh, we're going to pay... Yeah, one and two, and I will crack a clue to draw a card. All right, Hunter. What is the power coming at me? Uh, 24. Do you want to crack anything else? Nah. Okay. I'll absorb 24 and make 24 two ones. Sounds good. Yeah. What's next, Dave? Blow up the board. Main phase two, I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. I will play a Gonti's Aether Heart. Uh, it's it's going to ETB twice. Uh, whenever it or another one enters the battlefield under my control, I get two energy. So Joyer is going to see this. I'm going to get a card draw for the, for the cast, and then the Panharmonicon is going to see this. And on the ETB, I will make four energy. He's taking another turn. One, two, three, four. Yes, I am, fucker. Uh, okay, I'm going to spend eight energy. I'm going to exile out Gonti, and we'll take an extra turn after this one. Mm-hmm. I'm going to also, let's do this. I'm going to play a command tower as my land for the turn. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to discard down a hand size. So I'm going to discard a M mystic monastery and I'll go to my next turn. I'm going to laugh when Hunter wins with no mountain. <laughs> All right, draw a card. <laughs> I'm going to tap mystic forge. I'm going to put a windfall or I'm going to exile that windfall. I'm going to look at the top card of my library. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm going to pay two mana one. And actually, we'll just tap the soul ring. So two mana. I'm going to cast a Lightning Greaves. Yeah. Uh, lightning Greaves will trigger with Joyra, so I will draw a card. I'm going to go for a red, a white, a blue, and let's tap for two more. One, two. And I'm going to cast an Ulsha the Infinite. Mm -hmm. um, on the cast for this one, Joyra is going to see that that's a legendary, or it's a historic, so I'm going to draw a card. And then this has prowess. It says I can look at the top card of, of my library at any time, and I can cast it if it is a non-creature, non-land card. I'm going to cast it as someone hit flash. Look at the top card of my library. Put that one back onto the top of my library. Uh, I will spend two mana, one, two. I will cast a Talisman of Creativity. This is a historic permanent, so Joyro will draw me a card. I'm going to look at the top card of my library. Uh, I'll spend one, two, three, and four. I'm going to cast an Unwinding Clock. Um, this is going to see Joyra. Joyra is going to draw me a card. I'm going to be able to look at the top card of my library. I'm going to put that back on the top of my library. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to tap down my Dominator, dude. I'm going to crew their Brotherhood Vertibird. Yeah, I'm going to go to combat with the Vertibird. Vertibird's going to swing. I'm going to spend two energy. So I'm going to tick this down. One, two for my Dominators. I'm going to give the Vertibird a plus one, plus one counter. And I'm going to give it First Strike. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me what the power is, please? 1921. Oh, I'm sorry. It is not 21. It has five plus one plus one counters on it as well. 26? Uh, yeah, so 26. 
I will take 26 damage. Alrighty. Going down to five. All right. I'm going to do my land for the turn. I'm going to play Buried Ruin. I'm going to tap to one and two, and I am going to return an Ethereum Sculptor from my graveyard back to my hand. Um, I'm going to go to pass my turn, and we're going to fucking prey on this. Untap, upkeep, draw. So on your untap, my artifacts are going to untap. All right, Dave. Yep. Combat. In response to you going to combat, I am going to cast Sensei's Top from the top of my library. Gyro will see that and draw me a card. Look at the top card of my library. I'm going to... We'll tap that, that Razor Burn. Um, I'm going to tap the Mystic Forge to exile the top card of my library. Oh, you know what? Here's what we'll do. I'm going to tap Saw Ring to crack a clue to draw a card. Look at the top card of my library. We're going to do this. I am going to pay one mana. So we're going to tap the Talith. Where'd that go? <laughs> we're going to tap the Talisman. I'm going to sink that mana into Sensei's Divining Top to look at the top three cards in my library. One, two, three. This is the longest co to combat. Uh, Hunter, I'm, I'm pretty sure I punted here. I got a little overzealous and didn't realize what your life total was in the last turn. Swing it at me. Swing everything. All right, yeah, I'm just going to take it. <laughs> <laughs> 24 two ones. Eight. You know block? Uh, no, no blocks. All right. You got more than enough to kill me there. You tried so hard, David. Jeez. For the fun of it, guys, let's see what the top card is. You think it's a mountain? Red, it's a mountain. Red, red, a mountain? red. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep that in the video. Oh my god. <laughs> Hunter one with no mountains. And that is gonna do it for us today. What an absolutely insane game. Board wipes galore. Bouncing stuff with two psych rips. Who would have saw that coming? And then ink shield to win it. And I didn't even need red. Who needs Mardu, right, Dave? Marty's, the, well, it's not the best, but it is pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go around the table, talk about how our decks did. My deck didn't, I, I mean, I won, but I feel like my deck didn't do the thing <laughs> it wanted to do at all because I got no red mana. So, yay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I still think Caesar Legion's Emperor is a lot of fun, and I stand by it. Steven drained all of my red sources, so, like, I couldn't play any of the cool stuff. I had a handful of cool stuff. But I just didn't get to play it because I didn't have red. Other than that, it's a great game. I enjoyed it a lot. Steven, what did you think of the Wise of Mock, man? Didn't play it. Uh, I mean, it's a fun deck. I mean, you know, I, I built the deck to mill and I milled a lot of cards. I think I think you guys had, what, 50 cards left in your deck by the time I died? By the end of the game, I was in the 20s. So, I mean, I, I, I did what I set out to do. Um, I probably should have played Mothman like Hunter was telling me uh, at least maybe once. It's just trying to set up so many different kinds of like mill and trying to get things going. I just kind of, I let that overshadow what the deck is built for. I think I was also just really scared because in the 100, the Mothman died three times and I just could not cast it again. And I just immediately thought as soon as it came down, either a board wipe or spot removal, but it was a, it was fun. I had a good time and I, I loved your graveyards being full. Dave, Dr. Madison Lee popped off that game. Yeah, I definitely think that she showcased what she is capable of. I also think that she did a great job of showcasing what I am not capable of. I do not like decks with a million permanents. I very much so felt like I got overwhelmed. Um, I know I missed triggers, so I apologize for those of you at home who were screaming at me for things. And uh, I definitely feel like I, I punted away an opportunity to win the game. I think I got a little too excited there at the end with just like all of the things that were in play. And I, I did lose track of Hunter's life total. I thought I had enough to at least like force him to block with some of the inklings. Ultimately, I don't think it actually would have mattered a whole lot. I think I was still probably dead to blow back for the combat damage. But I don't know. I also had pieces for a combo in my hand that I didn't drop. And I chose to do other things instead. So this deck, I don't know. It's a lot of fun. I am not a very good pilot for this, so I apologize. I feel like this gameplay was ridiculous, man. Like, Steven milling us for... I don't think I've ever seen a mill... I mean, I guess I have once or twice, but Steven's mill deck was nuts, and, like, it was. It kind of helped me because my deck cares about things in the graveyard and bringing it back, and, like, that part was fun, but I think what I've learned from these two games now is that Mantle of the Ancients is a good card, and that Ink Shield is a good card. Those are the, like, that's what I'm just... That's my takeaway from this game. Also, filter lands suck. Take them out of every get deck. Like, having to math out, like, this land taps for this land tap. Like, that was really tough. I know that that wasn't, like, the main part of my game. But in my head, like, that was the main part of my game. So, I don't know. As a whole, the game was a ton of fun. And if David didn't have that bounce, 
I was going to do the exact same thing I did game one. And then Hunter would add the ink shield, like just like game one. Like, I don't know. It was really funny how they played out again and really fun. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, and that's going to do it for us today. If you guys liked this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Comment down below letting us know what you guys thought about this gameplay. It was quite an epic adventure for us. Let us know what you guys thought. Uh, in the description, you will find links to our social media accounts. That's TikTok, that's Instagram, and X. That's at Guys at Magic for each one. Follow us on those as well. On the screen, you will see all of our Patreon subscribers. Thank you guys all so much for your added support. It means the world to us. If you guys wanted to see what they're seeing that's not here on YouTube, check the link in the description as well. Also, if you guys wanted to see why we built these decks the way we did, check the description as well for all of our $300 upgrade videos. We explain in great detail on why with the cards we added and the cards we cut. And until the next video, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace. Later. Goodbye. Bye-bye.